Hello guys, Luna here and welcome to another Elden Ring quest guide walkthrough where we'll be going over how to complete all the Tanith, Raya, Patches, Dialos and Bernal's quest lines which are all found at the Volcanic Manor. Now to be able to finish this quest you need to be able to access the snowy parts after the Grand Lift of Rolled. So make sure you get to that part in the story if you want to do the quest all in one. But you can still do a big chunk of the quests before then. So I think the best thing to do, because this is a very long guide, is to just jump straight into it. Now, to start the quest, head to the Volcanic Manor, and you can be invited here as well. However, if you make your own way, that's okay. Inside the manor, speak to Tanith to begin the quest, and rise up against the Erd Tree. Accepting this quest will give you the drawing room key. From here, head down the hall to the first door on the right is a perfume bottle, you can pick that up for later. And the next room down on the left, you find three NPCs. Pick up the items on the table, a finger allowing you to invade other worlds, and a letter. Speak with the NPCs and they include Bernal, Raya, and Dialos. Now, if you don't have Dialos already, don't worry. You can just talk to him at the table of Lost Grace. Travel to the Academy Gate Town and he will be there over the body and then you can travel back to the Table of Lost Grace and then eventually he will show up at the manor. So do that first and then there is a fourth NPC at the manor as well who will show up after you do the first quest which we will go over and that is Patches. Unfortunately I killed Patches pretty early on and this does mean that if you can't do his mission you will not be able to get one of the best armors in game, the Bull Goat Armor and the Bull Whip Candlestick, which is a cool looking weapon. However, I will still go over his quest as best I can without being able to do it. And not being able to do it doesn't affect the rest of the Volcanic Manor missions. So whatever you do, don't kill any of the characters, especially Patches, as he has some cool weapons and armor to get. Lastly, in the hall, there's an NPC kneeling. He asked you to kill Rickard. Whatever you do, though, don't do that because that will end the entire Volcanic Manor missions before you start any of them. So this will be the very last thing, or the second last thing, that you will do in this quest. So we've met our NPCs. Time to read the first letter. And you will be asked to kill an NPC called Old Knight Esteban. A red marker on your map will appear at the Colosseum in Limgrave. Go there and kill the knight. After killing him, you'll receive a rune arc, a furl calling finger remedy, and the full skilled armor set. You can also return to the volcanic manor and speak to Tanith to receive the magma shot sorcery spell. And if you talk to Bernal, you'll be able to get a couple of new ashes, eruption, and assassin's gambit to buy. So while all that is going on, we can start a new quest, and that one is for Raya. This is going to be a continuous quest that will be going back and forth on in this mission. So after we have talked to Raya initially, and we've completed the first letter, you can talk to Raya again, and she will mention hearing slithering within the walls. Rest at a site of grace and return to the room across the hall, and Raya has changed into something new. Talk to the new Raya, now called Zorias, and after learning about Raya, speak to Lady Tanith and pick the dialogue option related to her. Rest at the site of grace and return to Zorias. A body will now be in this location with a hidden passage behind and you can follow it to some stairs. If you head left, you can also get a depraved perfumer Carmen Ash. But from here, you're going to head back through the stairs and into the hidden passages and you will reach eventually the Temple of Igle, where you fight the god skin noble. Now, it's quite a journey because you will have to travel through the entire magma-filled prison town and reach the other side of the drawbridge. Make sure to raise the drawbridge as well to get access to a grace point so you can save the game before you take on the Godskin Noble. So head to the Godskin Noble. After defeating him, you will get the Godskin Stitcher and Noble Presence incantation. Interact with the item on the altar. It's called the Serpent's Ammonium. From here, travel back to the Volcanic Manor. At this point, we can return to Raya and give her the Serpent's Amnion, and then she talks about being betrayed. We can then return to Tanith and talk to her, and she asks if Raya finds out the truth, if we will give her a potion to help her forget. But at the minute, we're not going to do anything with this. Next, we're going to pick up the letter from Patches. As I mentioned, I killed him already, so I won't have this part, but I will still go over the steps nonetheless. You have to make your way to the Ravine Veiled Village, go through the caves to the Rune Strewn Precipice, and reach all the way to the top of the Rune Strewn Precipice Overlook, and here you will fight the Magma Worm Maker. 
After defeating the Magma Worm Maker, there will be the Red Mark, where you can travel to fight the Great Horn Targeth, and he is right next to the Grace Point called Magma Worm. Fight and defeat the enemy to get the Bulgo Armor, return to Patches to get the Magma Whip Candlestick. Again, you can talk to Tanith, and you can then go pick up your final letter. Read the final letter, and it wants you to fight someone called Riley. Travel to the Bridge of Iniquity and down to reach him, and after you fight him, you will receive Crepus's Vial. Head back to the Volcanic Manor and speak with Tanith to receive one of the game's better weapons, the Serpent Bone Blade. Talk with Bernal to get new letters as well, pick up the red letter next to him. Lastly, we can head to Raya and tell her the dark secrets of the manor. After this, she will mention that she is leaving, and then we can rest at Sight of Grace and then speak with Tanith again, and she will be gone. So now we can do one of two things. Kill the new enemies from the new letters, or find Raya. We will find Raya, but ultimately it doesn't matter which one of these you do first, as you will find out later. Although if you decide to kill the enemies before you do Raya, then you will miss out on some dialogue with Tanith, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. Travel to the Temple of Ilge, take the elevator to the second floor and out the window, walk all the way around and across some lava to find Raya in a room with red candles. she will ask you to kill her. Now, it's important here that you don't do that. Now, we're not gonna do this either. At this point, we're just gonna forget about Raya and then come back and see her later. Now, I haven't seen anyone online who hasn't either killed her or given the potion of forgetfulness, and the rewards for both are the same. But on this one, we're gonna do a third option, which I will go over later, where we get something extra from her. Now head back to the Volcanic Manor and then you can talk to Bernal. He gives you a letter and he wants you to kill Bargram and Erin in the capital city. Next to him on the table there is a red letter which we will do after this one. So we're going to head to the capital ramper and jump down to find the invasion and an easy battle with Bargram and Erin. After defeating them you get an awesome looking Raging Wolf armor. And you can also get Albrecht's armor here as well in this location. Next, read the red letter. It tells you to fight Juno Hoslow, who is probably one of the most frustrating bosses in this game. And he's found in the mountaintops of giants. A little bit of a journey to reach him next to the Shack of the Lofty. But after some trial and error, just using a shield and the Serpent Bone Sword that you got as a reward earlier is probably the best way to kill him. And also, if he uses a whip, make sure to use a lot of jumping instead of rolling, as it's a much better way to avoid whips. After defeating him, you will get his armor and the Petal Whip, which are both very awesome. Now return to the Volcanic Manor and speak with Tanith to get the Taker's cameo, and if she asks you about joining the Lord, you can just forget about that for the second. Speak with Bernal to get a final reward called Gelmir's Fury, and now it's time to go and fight Ricard, Lord of the Blasphemy. Speak with Tanith, or you can make your own way there and travel to him, and use the Serpent Hunter for an easy fight and get his Ruin and Remembrance. After he's defeated, we can travel back to Tanith and we can speak with her, finishing all of her dialogues. She will disappear after this, after you rest at the Sight of Grace. From here, we're going to travel to see Raya once again, and then she talks about you letting her live and you being very kind. So if we haven't killed her and we didn't give her the Potion of Forgetfulness, this is the third option where we let her live. After this, we're going to travel back to where Ricard was and Tanith will be there. Attack her and defeat her knight and you will get the aspects of the Crucible Breath incantation and looting Tanith will give you the consort set, which is Tanith's armor. And that will pretty much complete the quest line for Tanith and the Volcanic Manor. But we're going to return to Raya now, and then this time she will be gone. She leaves behind a mask, which you will get for all of the endings in this quest. Whether you kill her, you make her forget, you will get the mask. So we get the mask in this version, but we also get this letter. What the reason for getting the letter is, we unfortunately don't know. Maybe it means that she's out there somewhere and we will see her again. Maybe there's more to her story. Maybe she is involved in a secret ending if we do this version. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's any more of Raya after this, but what we do know is she's alive and she's out exploring somewhere. 
which she isn't if you do any other ending for Raya. So if you guys do the quest, hopefully someone will eventually figure out if we see her again, or if I do, I will let you guys know. But guys, that is it for the incredibly long and difficult set of missions in Elden Ring, where we cover Tanith, Raya, Patches if you didn't kill him, Dialos and Bernal as well, fully completing the Volcanic Manor missions. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by liking and subscribing, and I'll be back soon with more quest guides for other NPCs in Elden Ring. See you then. Bye.